Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Commercial Commentary. We're already up to episode 16. This episode has to do with fragrances of the holiday season and how men and women react differently to them. Now, we are going to do two commercials, uh, both having to do with Christmas fragrances. Uh, in these commercials, both the fragrances are picked by women, but it shows you the differences between men and women on how they react to certain fragrances. Let's take a look. So you can see, as the woman lights the candle and the room fills with the fragrant aroma of Christmas, the room seems to start to decorate itself. I see this as a symbolism of women actually thinking the decoration isn't complete until there's the scent of Christmas as well as the physical decorations. In that last clip, you notice that another room decorated itself when she lit another aroma candle, and she also changed clothing. She was dressed now in a little black dress. This makes me think that perhaps she thinks better of herself when her house smells wonderful. When fragrance is your centerpiece, the holidays come alive. See, even the narration supports that. When the aroma is right, the holidays come alive. And you'll notice even the husband appreciates it. The children are happy. Everything is wonderful. My goodness, that aroma even attracted Santa Claus down the chimney. I wonder if it was able to be smelled from miles away, maybe even a thousand miles away. Well, no, that would be ridiculous. You couldn't smell a candle a thousand miles away. But nevertheless, whoa, it attracted Santa. Whoa. The limited edition holiday collection by Glade, S.C. Johnson, a family company. So, that was a female point of view of holiday aromas and fragrances. Now, we're going to go to the alternate male point of view of aromas at Christmas. Let's take a look. So, the product is called Sensicles. Hmm, interesting. Hang them on the tree, kind of like tinsel, and have a fragrance to your tree. So I hear a slight buzzing in the background, and then there's a little boy with four identical ornaments in front of him. Perhaps he was told those were his favorites, or those were the only ones he's allowed to hang on the tree, but he looks a little bit bored. So when I was growing up, I was taught never run with scissors. But outside, that little boy has spotted a man running across the lawn with a chainsaw. Hmm. My goodness, look at his face. Looks like you've been overcome by something. I know what it is. It's the fragrance of the centicles. He's thinks it's a real pine tree. <laughs> ah, yes, I know that look. When I was young, our family used to go out and tag a Christmas tree at a Christmas tree farm. Weeks later, we'd go back when it was closer to Christmas and take a saw and cut down the Christmas tree and bring it home. That's the look you have on your face when you're a little kid, when you get to saw down a tree. I wonder what the kid's father's going to do about this man in his living room with a chainsaw. Yeah. Today, you can smell me. Ooh, you can smell me? Well, I certainly hope that's from the point of view of the sensical, and not from the point of view of the lumberjack dude. From 1,000 miles away. So there's a mad lumberjack with a chainsaw in your living room. You have a small child and a wife, and the husband just stands there, dumbfounded. I know I can, I know I must be near you. All right, the lyrics have taken a turn for the worse. They've now said, I can smell you too. So if the first one was from the perspective of the sensicles, I'm assuming that the same voice, it's from the same perspective. So not only can the lumberjack smell the sensicles and 
be fooled that it's a pine tree. But the sensicles can now smell the lumberjack? This is getting very bizarre. Ooh, I, I can smell you. So the father has gotten up enough gumption to move from in front of the far couch and move to a closer couch. He's closer to the lumberjack, but still only is just standing like this. I don't quite understand. I said hi. I can smell you from 1,000 miles away. So the lumberjack seems that he's done sawing down the tree. Let's see if he was successful. Awesome. Yes, that was usually my reaction too when I was a little kid sawing down a tree. Awesome. Smells exactly like a real tree. Which explains the confusion of the lumberjack, I'm sure. Oh, and thanks for your help, Dad! Sensical. The only ornament with the real smelling smell of a real tree. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity for a public service announcement. There is a disappointing advertising campaign from Honda current during the holiday season, which basically points out the unpopularity of one musical artist, namely Michael Bolton. What's it feel like to get a great deal at Happy Honda Days? Cue the Bolton. Please, please don't cue the Bolton. I mean, really. Michael Bolton? He wasn't that popular when he was popular, and they want to bring him back? Please, Honda, don't bring Michael Bolton back. I mean, it's sad. Come see Michael Bolton appearing at your nearest Honda dealer? If you remember back, Michael Bolton's biggest feature was his long, wavy hair. He doesn't even have that any longer. And they don't even allow him to sing real songs on these commercials. They make them up. So he's singing Honda ads. Poor Michael. Michael, don't do it. Honda, stop this madness. Oh, I love this time of year. Does he? Does he really love this time of year? How could he? His career is down to appearing at Honda dealerships. He used to fill concert halls. Now, the occasional person shopping for a car can hear Michael Bolton singing made-up tunes. Catch the spirit with standard features like Bluetooth and a rear-view camera. It's as if that young lady was shocked by the person playing the piano and was saying, who is that? It's the perfect season to get a great deal on the 2014 Accord, a 2013 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, right now at your Honda dealer. <laughs> 